Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about antiderivatives of trigonometric functions. The following are the theorems on antidifferentiation involving trigonometric functions. For the first one, the indefinite integral of sine x with respect to x is equal to negative cosine x plus c. For the second one, the indefinite integral of cosine x with respect to x is equal to sine x plus c. For the third one, the indefinite integral of secant squared x with respect to x is equal to tangent x plus c. For the fourth one, the indefinite integral of cosecant squared x with respect to x is equal to negative cotangent x plus c. For the fifth one, the indefinite integral of secant x times tangent x with respect to x is equal to secant x plus c. And finally, for the sixth one, the indefinite integral of cosecant x times cotangent x with respect to x is equal to negative cosecant x plus c. Let us apply these theorems in solving some indefinite integrals involving trigonometric functions. For the first one, solve for the indefinite integral of cosine x minus sine x with respect to x. To solve for this one, we can use theorems 1 and 2. So we will have the indefinite integral of cosine x minus sine x with respect to x is equal to to the indefinite integral of cosine x with respect to x minus the indefinite integral of sine x with respect to x. Remember that the indefinite integral of cosine x with respect to x is equal to sine x while the indefinite integral of sine x with respect to x is equal to negative cosine x. Thus, the final answer will be sine x plus cosine x plus the arbitrary constant c. Another example, solve for the indefinite integral of cotangent squared x with respect to x. Since we cannot directly use any of the theorems, we need to rewrite the given using the trigonometric identities. Recall that cotangent squared x is equal to cosecant squared x minus 1. Thus, our given will be written as the indefinite integral of cosecant squared x minus 1 with respect to x. From here, we will have the indefinite integral of cosecant squared x with respect to x minus the indefinite integral of dx. Applying the theorems, we will get negative cotangent squared minus x plus the arbitrary constant c. For our last example, solve for the indefinite integral of sine x over cosine squared x with respect to x. Again, we can use the trigonometric identities to rewrite the given to use the theorems on anti-differentiation. Thus, our given can be written as the indefinite integral of sine x over cosine x times 1 over cosine x with respect to x. Remember that sine x over cosine x is equal to tangent x and 1 over cosine x is equal to secant x. Thus, our given will become the indefinite integral of tangent x secant x with respect to x. From here, we can now apply the theorem. Therefore, this will be equal to secant x plus c. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For next week, our lesson will be about the anti-differentiation by substitution. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next discussion.